I graduate from college, I would like to be an RN. After I leave the school, I'm planning on going to NC State University and finishing off my next two years of college there. The Northeast Regional School of Biotechnology and Agri-Science is breaking ground on many different fronts. It's an exciting venture for North Carolina, and it's creating a new prototype for rural education that's going to be very valuable, not just here in North Carolina, but across the country. You know, this is a school that's developing a distance relationship to an elite university, and being located on the campus of an agricultural research station, the teachers and the students in that school are beginning to think about how do students participate in authentic research and how can they use projects and problems and incorporate the daily activities of scientists on that research station so that their education is meaningful and it's preparing them for a future that they can understand. There's a lot of hands-on activity that goes on at this school that you certainly wouldn't be able to do at other schools. We have greenhouses across the road where there's um, extensive potato research and we actually get to go in there and help out with the research and see the design process of genetically engineering a plant to be more productive. I've been able to, to use the kids and, and help plant in the field. Uh, and I've used them to help make crosses. And, and the crossing is, is where I think they, they, they get the greatest benefit. You get to think about all the genetic combinations that you can create when you cross potato plants. When, when you cross a, a purple potato with a white potato, you can get purples and whites, but you also get everything in between. Being able to expose kids to that kind of diversity and then explain why the diversity exists, it, it's, it's a great opportunity. He'll come home with all types of essays and those type of things, just like the traditional schools, writing assignments and what have you. But how many schools give a child an opportunity to actually get his hand in the dirt and actually experience uh, walking into a greenhouse and, and seeing a seed uh, actually uh, plant it and then see an end product. This is a rural, poverty-stricken area with a lot of students whose parents did not go to college and may possibly have, um, maybe not have the opportunity to go themselves. So putting an early college definitely seemed like a good idea and then pairing it with the research station, it, it went really well. That school is also rethinking how teachers collaborate and how professional development in a school will enable a team of teachers over time to truly integrate the curriculum. We have agricultural engineering, we have animal science, horticulture, biotechnology. Whether we are working on a forestry project or whether we're working on an environmental science project, they have to design their own projects and they have to present those projects too. We spent the first two weeks of school last year getting students out of their comfort zone and reinventing themselves as a student. Just like we had to do the very same thing with our faculty for each of them to have to reinvent themselves as, as a teacher in terms of what they have done in a traditional setting to what they do now and what the expectations are. I chose this school because I wanted a better education and I felt like this school can provide a better education for me. We come together as a team to make sure that our instruction is very rigorous and that it incorporates the STEM curriculum. And we work together to make sure that we pull in the biotechnology and agri-science theme within all areas of the curriculum. We also incorporate college courses. Our students are taking college courses and they're online and there have been some challenges but the students have overcome those challenges and have succeeded very well. What's different about the Northeast Regional School of Biotechnology and Agri-Science is the fact that our students come from five different counties, five different LEAs, five different traditions from their pre-existing school and they come here and they develop their own tradition. As North Carolina progresses, it's going to become less important uh, to think about municipal and county boundaries and essential really to think about regions as we focus on the growth of a workforce that's competitive and the growth and establishment and recruitment of industries that will also work across regions instead of within individual communities. The one thing that I like most about NERSPA is the atmosphere, the learning style, this school has their children not sitting at a desk all day long in front of a teacher lecturing. It is still in such a positive learning environment to all students here. One goal that I have for all of our kids is to be able to think clearly and speak effectively. Because we have a long-term goal with these students. They have a five-year plan and we have somewhere we want them to be at the end. And it starts from the very beginning.